Looks like we're heading out together this time, huh? I'm glad we made it this far. At the end of the day, surviving is what matters in this line of work. I think I've got to be extra careful. I don't know what my mom and sister would do if I... Well, never mind. Oh, hey, um, on the down low? Do you know Sakuya? Yeah? Are you close? Isn't she just smoking hot? And not just hot, but kind. And sweet. And hot! Well, she's like a freaking Amazon warrior maiden. Damn, she's so fine. Even just thinking about her has got me all hyped for another mission. How about a little contest? Let's see which of us takes down the most origami. Oh, she'll be all over me then. Yeah. Let's begin with a concept. Arcology. In essence, a building completely self-contained. But that's not all. Self-sufficient as well, both in production and consumption therein. Of course, the best example is here. The Fenrir Far East branch, with the den at its core, is an arcology. In any situation, no matter how extreme, we could survive alone, even should all the remaining Fenrir structures collapse. Our status as an arcology would ensure that we could live on just as before, still eat, work, and fight, all based on our own production. Beneath the den is a fully equipped plant that produces food, god arcs, and any needed material for the people of the branch. Atop all that, we are supremely defended. An anti-aragami wall lines the perimeter, and we boast the strongest god eaters squadrons. That, in a nutshell, is the Far East, a powerful and complex arcology optimized solely for the protection of humankind. Unfortunately, we are still plagued by a number of issues, Foremost among them is that we simply cannot house all our citizens. I am certain you've seen the vast outer ghetto, a collection of ramshackle housing that lies just beyond the core of the branch. We would love to have those people inside, but the fact is, we simply don't have the room to accommodate. I'm afraid that the best we can do now is surround that ghetto with a larger anti-aragami wall. Options are limited. I don't know if that's enough. The armor's been breached a whole lot lately. Never bad, but still. Which is precisely why we have the defense unit stationed there, our strongest shield. Oh, goodness me, you were born in the outer ghetto, weren't you, Koda? My apologies, I did not mean to dismiss your fear so lightly. Oh, no, it's not a problem. Actually, there was a plan to expand the interior of the den. We were going to build another layer down for new residents. But it never came through. The Aegis Project picked up, and that's supposed to make us all much safer anyways. Well, yes, exactly. At this time, a massive majority of Far East resources and the underground plants are being dedicated to helping construct the Aegis. But I think that should be a topic for another time. Also in the news today, another demonstration by anti-Fenrir protesters. This morning, before all global Fenrir branches, protesters gathered. In the Far East, the group was led by residents of the outer ghetto. The demonstrators called on the corporation to increase rationing, increase ghetto defenses, and reopen in-house hiring. After almost two hours of marches, speeches, and slogans, the assembled group dispersed peacefully. Oh, hey, come here a second. I'm hearing great things about you from the other God Eater. You're doing more than just exceeding expectations. But look, you've got to try not to push too hard, okay? You're so talented, and that's great. But in the past, all the best God Eaters die young. And I've got a nice long life ahead of me. Sounds like a deal. Hey, Lindo. Keeping executives hours once again, I see. Well, I do an executive's amount of work. All right, who's ready for another fun day of God Eating? All three of us are heading out on this next mission. I'll take the lead. Sakuya, you'll play backup. Got it. And you will be our switch hitter. Take on the commando role. Show us what a new type can do. Anything else? Huh? Uh, yeah, don't die out there. Inspiring and emotional as always, boss. So charismatic.
Yet another great day to do some god eating. Make sure you come back safe and sound. That's that's it? That's the whole speech. You won't last very long if you question him like that. Trust this me. This is absurd. Looks like everyone's feeling the mission today. Well, almost everyone. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. Come on, chin up, yeah? This will be your first mission as a squad. You're all damn good, so get out there and do what you do best. Wait, our first mission? What about you, Lindo? Oh, well, you know, I got a hot date waiting for me, so it's just gonna be you guys. Keep it on the down low, though, get me? Not to mention, my lovely lady's a bit impatient. She'll stand me up if I'm a little late. So yeah, I'm gonna take off. Remember the big rule, don't die. I'll see you all later. They're your rules, so make sure you follow them yourself. Get the hell out of here and let us work. Remember, it's a work night, so try not to stay out too late. Okay, Lindo? All right, mission won't complete itself. Looks like you made it back before us. How'd it go? Pretty well. I managed to wrap up the night early, as per your request. How'd you guys do? As per your request, no one died, see? We did well. Mission complete, no casualties. Overall, a pretty solid outing. You should have seen it, man. We kicked so much ass. We were awesome. Funny, I don't remember you actually helping. <laughs> Damn, well, if that's the case, I guess I won't be skipping out on any more dates just to keep you guys in line. Where are you getting all these ladies from? You gotta hook me up, Lindo. <laughs> I'm not so sure you can handle a lady. Hmm. Attention, all God The seventh unit has successfully slain an Ouroboros and taken the core. All engineers report to lab number five. I repeat, we can confirm an Ouroboros core has been detached. All engineers report to Lab 5 at once for analysis. An Ouroboros! Damn, which team took it down? Not just took it down, but ripped out the core, too. They're gonna be drowning with bonus cash. I know who's buying rounds tonight. You wouldn't have to be so cheap if you fought harder. Ouroboros? The hell's that? Wait, is it crazy strong? Do a little research and you won't have to ask stupid questions. It's in the north. Look it up. It is pretty strong, Coda. I don't think we're ready for something like that just yet. Seriously? Well, we rock. Like, really hard. And we'll die. Like, really hard. I don't know. It's tough. Yeah, but we're getting pretty good. One of these days, we can challenge an Ouroboros. But for now, follow the big rule. Yeah, we get it. Don't die. I think you've used that line enough, don't you? Nah, I don't think so. I'll keep on saying it until you get it, Selma. You'd charge off into death if I wasn't watching out. That's just... shut up! Ooh, well, all right then. <laughs> I got another date lined up, so I'm off to dinner. Good fighting, guys. have imagined it. This is Soma. No, no contact with the target as of yet. We'll keep searching. Did you hear the news? Another new type is getting assigned to the Far East. Wait, seriously? <laughs> wow, there's been a whole lot of them lately, huh? Yeah, but they're still rare. 
The director himself brought her over from Russia. Look, there she is. Speak of the devil, right? Good day, squad. I'd like to introduce someone. Another new type God Eater will be joining your team as of today. A pleasure to meet you. My name is Alyssa Ilinachina Amiela. I've been transferred here from the Russia branch. I will do my best to continue to serve with distinction. I hope we work well together. Yes, we always have room for another hottie. Is he serious? The fact that you have survived long enough to become a God Eater is astounding. She doesn't have the battlefield experience you do, but her scores in the simulation are beyond anything recorded. Better hone your skills. Yes, ma'am. Of course. Sorry. Alyssa, you will serve under Lindo, a talented God Eater and a good commander. As you wish, ma'am. Actually, I have some documents that need your signature. Why don't you come with me? The rest of you, make Alyssa feel at home. Dismissed. Hey, well, Russia, huh? I hear it's really cold there. Like all the time. Uh, snow's weird, right? But I guess global warming is weird too. She seems promising. Any special reason we're the only branch and squad to get a bunch of new types? Or am I just lucky? Maybe that's all there is to it. HQ's new policy is to step up new type discovery and recruitment. They could turn the tide. There is something unique about this girl, though. She might be a match, but she's a little unbalanced, mentally. Part of the deal was that she adhere to a strict mental health care regimen while she's here. Still, I need you to keep an eye on her. Anything for you, big sis. Lindo, if you ever call me that again, they will be the last words to leave your lips. Picking up from last time, we were discussing oracle cells, yes? They make up origami and eat anything. And I mean anything. They eat life forms, flora and fauna, as well as synthetic creations, resins, plastics, for instance. It has even been reported that they can consume toxic waste, which will actively destroy any other life form. They never tire. Buildings, the Earth itself. See, this is the end result. The environment as we know it, the leftovers, is diminishing at an unsustainable rapid pace. People once gathered here to view cherry blossoms in the spring, to watch leaves array in gold and red when autumn came. Now only memories, preserved in pictures and first-hand accounts. And the origami, they begin to take on qualities of the things they consume, gaining new abilities. Recently, we have even discovered a few origami that have been photosynthesizing. It's a wonder. The composition of our air remains as it always was. 79% nitrogen, 21 oxygen. Despite the decimation of our trees and plants over the last 20 odd years, nearly 70% now gone, we have maintained the air. It's ironic. We hunt the origami and they hunt us. Yet it is due to their photosynthesis that we can still breathe. No, Mom. Your muffs don't go on the cookie. <sighs> really? Does he not understand how important this is? He is merely coded. Tell me, have either of you heard the term Nova's devouring apocalypse? Yes. It will theoretically come into being through origami fighting each other. Humanity's extinction is triggered by a Nova, an origami grown so massive and so powerful that it literally devours the world. Precisely. Now, we have no confident source for the origin of this theory, and many people have dismissed it as superstitious rumor. But, but when the Aegis Project is complete, that'll protect us all, right? Even from that. Hmm. Do you know what a dog is, Coda? Huh? Yes, Canis Lupus Familiaris. Even now, their numbers are fading, but they can still be seen around the outer ghetto. Dogs are intelligent. No, they cannot speak, but they have a natural, almost innate form of communication with other species, like us. Now, if an origami were to take on these sort of qualities, would that origami then be able to coexist with us? Coexist? Of course, dogs are not the only animals that possess this sort of ingrown communication. I read once about an animal tamer who used to communicate with all kinds of creatures in some striped tent or something. <laughs> It's not possible. Humans and origami cannot live together. Simple fact.
Looks like I get the pleasure of working with both new types. I'll try not to get in the way. <laughs> it isn't getting in the way. You should just stick to what old types do best. You are our support. <laughs> oh, well then. I guess I'll do my best to live up to your high, high expectations of me. <laughs> Whoa, okay. You really don't like me, huh? That's fine. I'll grow on you. No, it's... I I'm sorry. I it's nothing. I'm fine. <laughs> I was just kidding. Just a joke. Hey, I want you to try something, Alyssa. It might help. When things get crazy or chaotic, I want you to look up in the sky and find a cloud that looks like an animal, okay? It'll help you relax. You know what? Try it right now. That's an order. Once you do, come find us. We'll be just over there. But why would I do that? It's pointless. Just look for a cloud, okay? Trust me. We're gonna go on ahead a little bit. So here's the deal. That kid's got some unique baggage. Still, it's hard to find someone who doesn't have tragedy in their history. Sign of the times. I wanted to ask you, since you're a new type, will you keep an eye out for her? Good, thanks. Come on, then. Aragami. When oracle cells were first discovered, they maintained an amoeba-like form. Harmless, delicate, how little we knew. Shortly after that, we discovered the first origami in earthworm form. Within six months, the first large-scale creatures appeared. And before even a year had passed, an entire continent had fallen prey to their rapid domination. It was unprecedented. Even with their unique talents, taking the form of that which they consume, we never anticipated this. Now, in the strictest sense, Aragami do not evolve. That is beyond their current capacity. The absolute fact of the matter is, the oracle cells themselves have not changed even one iota from their original gene sequence. Hold on, that's... that's just impossible. The cells change form, don't they? In a way, the origami you see, well, they're just like you are in this classroom, in this moment. To an origami, acquiring new forms, new abilities, and gifts is identical to the way that we as humans absorb knowledge. Yes, I know it sounds very far-fetched. Let me give you an example. They discover what bone structure would help to move faster in our environment. They analyze the means of flight and then develop them. They absorb tons of information every time an oracle cell devours anything else. In 20 years, 20 years, they've developed an advanced system of form and function and dominated the Earth. <laughs> A shame indeed that the Aragami are not as averse to study as it seems Kota is. They are dedicated and diligent students. Truly, it boggles the mind how advanced they've become. Latest reports suggest there is an origami out there capable of using a rudimentary missile system. If this is true, then they have absorbed man-made tools and developed a way to use such devices. I relish the chance to solve this ever-changing puzzle. How those cells must work to incorporate such complex features into the paradigm. Perhaps one day we might even see the next step, an origami that takes the form of a human. Wouldn't it be wondrous? I'm not sure that wondrous is the word we would use. Definitely off here. <gasps> you all right? I. 
Yeah, I'm fine. Your flanks are clear, Captain. Both the sides and back. Right, good. Come on, let's move. two teams to cover this region. I don't know. I guess that's a problem for later. Let's wrap up the mission and head back. Alyssa and I will cover the inside of the church. Your team takes the exterior. Cool? Thanks. exist only to hunt, only to kill. If things get crazy or chaotic, I want you to look up in the sky. No! and get back to the den, now. You hear me? Linda, what? Damn it, do this for me. Take Alyssa and fall back to the den. Sakuya, you have charge of the newbies. Soma, cut them a path out of here. Papa, Mama, I didn't mean to. I, I never meant to. Lindo, break through and come with us. Yeah, I'd love to, but I think these monsters need to be taught a lesson first. Say some of that awful ration beer for me. If you're not going, then I will stay and fight. Sakuya, Sakuya, I am ordering you. Get them back safe, please. Don't let them die. No! I won't leave you! Come on, we have to go! If we stay here any longer, we're all dead! I won't go! Lindo! They got away. Oh, seriously, can I have like five minutes? Don't know how long I can do this.
Please, Miss Amamiya, let us search for him. We can find Lindo, I'm sure of it. No, I won't just send you out there blind. The main unit is mobilized already. Wait for their report. The more people you send, the faster we'll find him. We can do it. I know we can do it. Enough. Lindo saved us. Not once, a dozen times. Miss Amamiya, please wait. I said enough. Tsubaki, the director wishes to see you as soon as possible. Very well. Please, watch over the others. As you wish, ma'am. Hey, listen here, kids. She feels responsible for every life that she sends into the field. Everyone comes home. It's just that... Do you think she doesn't want to rush out there herself? It's her own brother. She will see him found. and change the restraints. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Papa, mommy, please. It's not... It's not what you think. It's not... Alyssa, don't you recognize me? It's Tsubaki. I didn't... I didn't mean to. I never meant to. You're wrong. It's not me. It's not my fault. It's not my <sighs> fault. Why didn't you leave me alone? Why? Why wouldn't you just leave me alone? I wouldn't go in there. Sorry, it's better you don't see her just now. Once the medication wears off, she tends to fall apart. Come back another day. She'll be better. Get away from me! No! I don't think she wants you to see her like that. She cares. Even when she won't say so, 